Yeah, she dropping it low for some dollars. Should have known when she dropped out of college. I ain't mad at the hustle, I get it. Hello again, everyone. My name's Alec with Abritis, and today we're going to be testing another new development from Abritis, which is the Abritis Diagnostics for McLaren. What we can see here is a 720S, and uh, we're going to be trying out the new diagnostics. This is just the start of the Abritis Diagnostics for McLaren. As I'm sure you know, we would usually start off by, by debuting our diagnostic tool for something and then continuing on with special functions and licenses for that. Well, I'll just meet you on the inside then. Right, so uh, here are the tools you're going to need. This is the new AVDI Plus. Um, the specific thing about the AVDI Plus, as I'm sure you've read online, is that it now supports Ethernet and CANFD and uh, we're going to be testing it together with the new software today. Uh, we're not going to need CANFD, but we're just testing the new AVDIs out. Um, it is quite a familiar site, the way you connect the AVDI Plus. It is absolutely the same as with the old AVDI, so you connect it on one side with uh, the USB cable and the OBD cable on the other side. This is a CB106. Here is where you will find the OBD port on a McLaren. Um, so it's right here. Oh, you can see here the, the badge with the model of the car. And of course, made in Surrey. I will connect the uh, USB to the laptop and I'll just get the software started. All right, so now you find this inside the 720S. And as you can see, we have a working key for this car. So we're going to use it to turn the ignition on. And uh, just one second, there we go. We press the button twice and the ignition is on with the beautiful graphic of the 720S on the central display. So what we can do now is we can go to the quick start menu. And as we can see, we already have the Abritus Diagnostics for McLaren here. So let's see, make sure the ignition is on, it is on. McLaren successfully detected and uh, we can see a lot of information about this McLaren. It, is, it was built in 2018 and we're moving straight ahead to the diagnostics. As you can see, just as with, with any other standard Abritus diagnostics, we have all the modules on the one hand side and we have the faults on the right hand side. So we would start with the physical address where it is inside the car. Then we will start with the, then we will have the acronym uh, which is the, uh, the way they would call it from factory. And then we will have it translated to a normal human language. And then we will have the number of faults. As we can see here, since the car is already in ignition, uh, we can scroll through all of the modules installed in this go-kart sized car. Uh, for example, we can see that here uh, the advanced drive interface has seven faults. And we can drill inside the advanced uh, drive interface and we can take a look at what the faults are. They can also be cleared afterwards. So once we resolved uh, all the problems for the customer, we can then clear the fault codes and then they can drive their car safely and without any problems. We can also take a look at all the other um, modules related to this vehicle and uh, uh, we can see, uh, again, additional information about the modules. This means that we can uh, see exactly what hardware version the module is uh, we can see what software version the module has inside it and we can, we can also look for this module in case a faulty module needs to be replaced afterwards. This helps a lot in cases where, where the customer's car has a faulty module and you will need to replace it. So we can also from here we will have full identification of all the modules inside the car and we will have all the information that these modules have to share. So they will tell us uh, what is the, for example, what is the, the boot software which is installed inside this module and we have it here. Then uh, we, can, we can see what the application software is and then we can, we can have it here. And then we will have various, various types of information about all the details in, within this vehicle. Every single module will have, will have some sort of information inside of it and uh, we can display that for you. Uh, we can also do monitoring of uh, live values. Uh, so, for example, if we click on the live data uh, tab for the engine, uh, we, can, we can check and see um, different, different uh, variations of uh, the different parameters which the car has. Uh, for example, we can monitor the battery voltage now and, of course, we can do that in a query form or we can also do it in a graphic format. 
So for example, the car is not started at the moment. So the Klemme 50 or highest fuse inside the car will have a value of zero. And then we've also supplied power to the vehicle because of testing. And we can see that the battery voltage will be 12.8 uh, volts here. And uh, if we go back, we can select different modules. Of course, uh, once we start the car, we will see the actual values for all of that. And we can also see uh, different temperatures and pressures. Now, for example, the intake manifold pressure will be the atmospheric pressure at the moment. And so we can, we can go into graphics now and check that. And of course, it is a stationary uh, graph because we haven't started the car. Once we start the car, we can monitor the movement of, of the values. And one more thing, uh, we can do the live data monitoring for fault finding. Uh, we can also use that for tuning purposes. If we want really, really precise measurements, uh, we can, of course, zoom in, zoom out, save the monitoring to files, send it over to, to whoever is tuning the car, and they can monitor the behavior of the vehicle under different circumstances and different loads. The 720S um, has uh, what is called the electro-hydraulic power assistance steering, which means that uh, this module will give us a lot of, uh, of information. So for example, right here, if I slightly turn the steering wheel, you will see uh, real precise readings in terms of, in terms of angles and uh, the placement of the wheels and the, steer and the steering uh, wheel. And of course, uh, these are the degrees of steering angle. Um, which can be adjusted. Uh, you, can, you can use that for many purposes, for example, for alignment, if you're looking for dead center and so on. Of course, you, uh, we will have uh, a lot more to come in the future, but this is really a very, very great start. I guess that pretty much sums it up. So um, what we have is modules on the left-hand side and we have the faults on the right-hand side, but that doesn't tell us the full story. We can then look at all the software and hardware versions of all the modules inside, inside the vehicle. And this will allow us to find the correct modules, have full identification of all the modules inside, have full identification of all the DTCs we, we can find inside the vehicle. And this will, of course, allow us to go do the most abridest things of all in the future. I am really happy with, with the way our wonderful young developers uh, who are working on this, on this task have done so far. And uh, I can't wait to see what they have to show us in the future. So I've already spoken to a lot of the McLaren workshops out there. And uh, I think we have a very good concept of what you guys need. And we hope to be able to meet your expectations uh, with the future updates of the Abritus Diagnostics for McLaren. For now, this is what we have and I would just like to say like, share, subscribe, share your opinions about what we do here and uh, also done. Next car please.